Hello and welcome to the video on special theory of relativity and its implications. The theory of relativity transformed our understanding of space, time, and gravity. The theory is applicable at extremely high speeds or in the presence of strong gravitational fields. The theory states that all motion is relative, a body at rest relative to one observer, may appear in motion relative to other observers, and this is why we call it the theory of relativity. There are two main branches of relativity, special theory and general theory of relativity. Before the theory of relativity, it was widely believed that light behaved as a wave, much like sound waves, requiring a medium through which it could travel. Ether was proposed as the hypothetical medium enabling light to travel from its source to an observer's eyes. It was thought that the speed of light would vary for observers moving at different speeds through the ether. However, the Michelson-Morley experiment in 1887 demonstrated that the speed of light remains constant for all observers, regardless of their motion. This result led Einstein to conclude that the speed of light is absolute constant in a vacuum, regardless of the motion of the source or observer. The special theory of relativity is based on two postulates. The laws of physics are same in all inertial frames of reference. In other words, if you drop a ball on a moving platform, it will fall to the floor at the same rate, regardless of whether the platform is in motion or stationary. This is because the laws of gravity are the same in all inertial frames of reference. The speed of light in a vacuum is constant for all observers, regardless of the motion of the light source or the observer. Whether you are at rest, moving at a constant velocity, or traveling in a spaceship close to the speed of light, you will always measure the speed of light to be the same. The special theory has some intriguing and counterintuitive consequences, including time dilation, length contraction, increase in mass of a body, and the relativity of simultaneity. The constancy of the speed of light leads to the effects of time dilation and length contraction. Time dilation is the phenomenon that time passes more slowly for objects in motion than for objects at rest. This effect is related to the speed of the clock. The faster an object is moving relative to a stationary observer, the slower its clock appears to tick. Similarly, length contraction is the phenomenon in which an object in motion appears shorter to a stationary observer. The extent of length contraction also depends on the speed of the moving object. The speed of light is the universal speed limit. No object can travel at or faster than the speed of light in a vacuum. Two events that are simultaneous for one observer may not be simultaneous for other observers. As an object's velocity approaches the speed of light, its relativistic mass increases. It becomes increasingly difficult to accelerate an object as it gets closer to the speed of light, requiring more and more energy. Mass and energy are equivalent and can be converted into each other. This is known as the mass-energy equivalence principle. Hope this video was helpful in understanding the basics of special theory of relativity. Thank you for watching.